Well, I didn't get into North American Championships nor Western Championships, so today I'm just going to be talking about my plan for the next competition I'm going to, La La Land 2024. So this is an interesting competition in that this is a 24 hour competition and I remember watching Soup Timmy's video about, I think it was Sleepless in Seattle 2023 over a year ago and I found that competition and the idea to be really, really interesting and I wanted to go to something like that but obviously that competition already happened when I saw that video of course but once i heard that this competition was being organized here in la i was actually really happy because i actually wanted to go to that competition so today let's talk about my mains and goals and some other things that i have planned for this competition because i couldn't go to north american championships nor western championships for some reason oh i was so late on western championships so i, I didn't make it off the wait list so for the first event that I'm going to be competing in and the main event that I'm actually going to be competing in 3x3. Three three. For my main, I think it's going to be a toss up between the Worm V9 and the Worm V10. The Worm V9 is I guess my tried and true cube that I've been using. I'm pretty sure most of my PRs and PPs have been set on that cube. Although there were some that were set on the Super Waylong. Actually, I think my latest PR was actually set on a Super Waylong and my on-camera nine second solve was actually set on the worm v10 so it's kind of a toss-up between those two cubes the worm v9 and the worm v10 i think i like the worm v9 because it's flexible and i actually get my best times on it at home at least and the worm v10 because it does have a little bit more features you can customize it easily but it is a bit more blocky and i feel like in competition that might affect me a little bit because of that blockiness i tend to lock up a little bit more on that one so it is a toss-up between those two i'm gonna probably try to experiment between them and not now, my goals for this is to obviously beat my PB and actually get my first sub 10 solve in competition because the solve that I got before was a sub 11 or just a 10 second solve. So I want to actually get a sub 10 solve, which has been my goal for like basically the past year now. So. <laughs> The next event that I'm going to be competing in is 2x2, two two. and the main cube that I'm going to be using is the YJMGC 2x2. Two two. The 2x2 two two I'm going to be using is the only good 2x2 two two I have, so it's just the YJMGC 2x2. Two two. To be honest, I actually don't really care much about 2x2. Two two. All I want to do is actually beat my personal record for it. I don't even remember what that is, I'll put that up here. But otherwise, it's not really an event that I'm really interested in doing. Like, I could probably improve a lot on 2x2, two two, learn all of the the EG1s, all of the CLLs, all of the EG2s, and things like that, and try to learn how to one look. But I don't think 2x2 is going to be the event that I think I'd be really good at. Next one is 4x4, and the cube that I'm going to be using for that is the Vin Cube 4x4. And I actually really like that cube. It's actually gotten me all of my PBs so far. Not PRs yet, because I actually haven't used it in competition. That still goes to the YJMGC 4x4. But I think that it's really, really good and that I'm probably going to have better times with this as I feel a little bit more confident in turning this cube and I've been able to get a lot more sub one solves than I had before with the MGC. It does still pop a little bit. Like I do still get some pops. Sometimes the internal piece is popping a little bit, but I don't think it is as noticeable as it was on the YJ MGC 4x4 and I really like how the cube feels as well. It's more like an upgraded MGC 4x4 more of an upgrade over that. I like it. It's a really good cube. And for my goal for this competition is sub one minute, a sub one average. So last competition I went to, I got a 59 second solve. I'll put the exact time up here because I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I want to get a whole average that is sub one minute. I feel like I might be able to do it if I keep practicing four by four a bit more. I kind of want to actually get back on practicing four by four because I haven't actually done it for quite a while ever since I actually got the VinCube 4x4. Next event is 3x3 three three one-handed. And for my main cube, I think it's just gonna be the Worm V9 
again or the super way long obviously i think i've had good results with both cubes for one-handed and i guess especially since that they're both 55 millimeters and i kind of find that size actually really nice for one-handed especially because of its smaller size i've heard how good the rs3 mv5 is for one-handed but I feel like the size is a little bit too big for my hands to be able to do one-handed well, but I do still get some good solves on it, but... I think for this one, because of the sizes of both of those cubes, I might do just as well on those two. For my goal, a sub 20 single. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to average sub 20 yet, but I feel like I've gotten a few sub 20 solves on three by three one-handed. So I feel like I might be able to get one in competition. Maybe if it's just like a 19 second solve or something, just like one second below 20 seconds, then I'm fine with that. So that's my goal for that one next event i'm competing in is pyraminx i also don't really care much about that event but i just want to get at least the consistent sub 15 average for pyraminx and for the cube i'm using it's the chi ms pyraminx and it's kind of okay i feel like the tips magnet strength is a little bit too weak so i feel like i turn those tips easily when i'm doing solves so that might be a little bit of a problem but i don't really practice pyraminx much so there's that Next event that I'm competing in is Skube, and I just want to break whatever PR that I have set for that in competition. I'll put it up here because, again, I don't remember what my PR for Skube is, so there's that. And the Skube that I'm using is the RS Skube M Maglev. It's the one with the purple internals, which I really like. The next event that I'm going to be competing in, and the last event, I guess, that I'm going to be competing in here is Megaminx. And my main for that is the GAN Megaminx M Maglev with UV coating. That was a mouthful. My main goal for this event is to make cutoff. I think it's two minutes and 15 seconds here. So I want to try to at least get my times really close to it while also obviously making cutoff. So <laughs> there's that. And also because I actually haven't done a full on review on this Megaminx yet, let's just talk about this Megaminx for a little bit. I actually really, really like this Megaminx. This is actually my first ever magnetic Megaminx and it's actually my first ever good Megaminx. It's really fast and kind of actually like really smooth and I feel like the magnets on it and the like the magnetic core keeps it really stable. I haven't really had any problems with this Megaminx whatsoever and I think this is pretty much just on its stock settings without any adjustment. I did add in some Stardust into this puzzle and it's really nice now and I've been using it for quite a while and I actually did I think about like three days of actual practice on this cube so I feel like this is honestly a really nice Mega Minx and I think that this is probably gonna be the Mega Minx that will actually get me into Mega Minx and actually get me really fast at Mega Minx so if you're wondering what I think about the Mega Minx this is where I'll talk about this Mega Minx now this is my plan for this competition outside of all of the events that I'm competing in so you know how I talked about the documentary that I wanted to make about cubing and the connection between it and social life i kind of want to do some of the interviews there probably actually early in the morning before any events happen so that you don't have to rush because people do have to like compete in the events they want to compete in so i think i'm going to do that or in between the breaks although i know there's only two 45 minute breaks and they're in different parts of the day so that might not be an option but i think before any events happen when there's already people there that's kind of what i'm thinking of doing for this competition and the other thing i'm gonna probably do for it is obviously vlog this competition this is obviously a 24 hour competition and i want to be able to make a really interesting competition vlog for this competition but i think something like really inspired by soup timmy's competition vlog because i i remember watching that video and it was really really interesting and i got really inspired to make a video like that i don't know if i'm gonna be staying up for the full 24 hours 
or end up taking a nap because I think there are some events I'm going to be competing in that will be taking place. I feel like if I do go to sleep, I probably will actually miss those events. So that is going to be interesting. I guess I'll have to try to find some interesting strategies to stay awake during that competition. But I guess for now, that's what I'm planning. Before I end this video, be sure to use my discount code J at speedkeepshop.com to get 5% off your order. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.